In my team, uh, the vision is to rethink fluid chemistry, taking into account the global challenges that the chemical industry is currently facing, deep decarbonization and defossilization, economically viable methodologies that require less energy and produce less waste, and of course, criteria like safety, sustainability and circularity. One goal in my laboratory is to produce fluorochemicals directly from fluorspar without the necessity to manufacture and transport this very dangerous chemical. Hydrogen fluoride is a mineral acid which is produced from fluorspar upon treatment with sulfuric acid under really harsh reaction condition. In previous studies, we have demonstrated that fluorspar can react with a phosphate salt in the solid state, applying mechanical energy to produce a new fluorinating reagent. And with that technology, we have produced fluorochemicals that are important for the pharmaceutical industry, but also for agrochemistry. More recently, with my team, uh, we have been able to activate fluorospar in water under very mild reaction condition. We do that chemistry actually at room temperature, so very different from the high temperature required to produce HF. And the way this is done is by reacting fluorospar in the presence of both a branched acid and, crucially, a fluorophilic Lewis acid. What I find interesting is that we just basically combine three different solids, acid grace phosphor, oxalic acid, and either boric acid or silicon oxide in a plastic flask with water. Stirring at room temperature is all that's needed without requiring any special uh, equipment. Our branch that acid of choice is uh, oxalic acid because it's easy to handle and the byproduct that we form, uh, calcium oxalate, can be easily separated via simple filtration. If the fluorophilic Lewis acid is boric acid, we produce tetrafluoboric acid that you will recognize is a very important reagent for Balshiman chemistry and the production of fluorines. If instead of boric acid we use silicon dioxide or silica, which is a very cheap reagent, we produce hexafluosilicylic acid, which we can divert into potassium fluoride or tetraalkyl ammonium fluoride, which are commonly used fluorinating reagents. So our technology stands out because it can be implemented in any lab, either it's academia or in industry. This new technology produces known fluorinating reagents, so we can directly make a link with the fluorochemical industry. Any laboratory can prepare uh, fluorochemicals directly from fluorospar without reliance on the supply chain of hydrogen fluoride. For future work, uh, considering that uh, the natural resources of fluorospar are depleting quite fast, we are considering using waste fluorochemical as a potential fluid source for fluorination chemistry in the spirit of a circular fluid economy.